Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I want to talk about the three-tone chime um, type um, SAB0600 here from Siemens. And first of all I want to show you how that works. Maybe some of you know this. That's for a doorbell. So I press here the button. So everything is okay. And now I bought some more of them from China because I want to have some uh, projects with it and I want to show you this here this is a type I bought and um, the problem is now none of these devices are working so let's check I will remove here now the original IC and take the I see from China here by the way you see from the label um, it can't be an original I see it also is clear from China but usually if you buy this you want to uh, be that is it's working so let's press a button so nothing works I tested already all the parts here and none of them are working and the problem is now what to do so um, I have the evidence that none of the parts are working and uh, sent it to China and they I got I got a full refund but I want to use the parts so I can't use them um, but I want to show you in the video what I also tested and for this I take one to the breadboard you have a small breadboard here and a look into the circuit I will zoom in now so what you can see here is only a block diagram of the chip and you see some parts in inside transistors, resistors and a diode here for example and if you take a multimeter between E and, G, e and ground in this case for example you should measure some resistance here with a multimeter and this is also what I did or and I want to show you it now so I have here on the left side the original IC and here the China part and now I take a multimeter here measure the resistance and here for example I take a pin 1 and 8 and you see here is a resistance of uh, 43 kilo ohm for example or I take other pins so it doesn't matter Okay, here's nothing. Okay, for the next, I have also a resistance, some kilo ohms, whatever. Now I take the China IC, and you will see now I have here the same situation as before. I measure between pin 1 and 8, and OL well, means no resistance, no connection. And if I take other pins, you also will see. None of the pins are really connected. So here is something mega ohms. So also not really a, a connection here. Also mega ohms. Here is nothing. Also nothing. And uh, I wondered a little bit because sometimes uh, I think if you buy 20 of them, maybe 10 of them are they are uh, working but here in this case none, uh, none of them are working and what I do now is because I want to know what, what's inside I take a hammer and a plier and destroy one of them here you can the IC and now I destroy it ah, second time Okay, it looks nice. So, if you see this here, you can see here the pins. And uh, I'm not sure, but uh, on this side there should be the chip, I think so. I'm not sure, but it seems to be. But, uh, okay, you cannot see the structure here in this case. But uh, what I'm wondering a little bit about it, usually you have the chip structure and then you have a little bond wire to the pins. 
And if you destroy this kind of IC, then you will see some really little pins or bond wire here, but I can't see them. So they are missing somehow, I think so. So have a look here. Hmm. Yeah, there's no bond wire. Usually you should see them here on the, on the pins somehow to the to the to the chip. But there is no bond wire. So this is a reason why we have no resistance between the pins. They are open, they are not connected. Maybe I'm wrong of that, but uh, leave a comment if you have another idea what's wrong here. But I think the bond wires are not there or the chip is also not really correct, whatever. Uh, leave a comment and then let's talk about this. As you can see, I disassemble a little bit more of the part. So maybe here the chip on this uh, metal, I'm not sure. Uh, but you see on the pins here, there is no small wire, so there is nothing. So you can say this is a fake. Yes, it's, that's from my side. If you have any comments, leave it, please, and have a nice day. Goodbye.